single digits and now nothing we can do. Out thousands of dollars and no certificate to show for it. Students at Brightwood College, a for-profit college, were shocked to learn this morning that their school is shutting down for good and they won't be able to graduate. CBS 13's Mugo Odigwe spoke with some students and she's live now to explain. Mugo. Talk about terrible news for these students. Some of them walked out of this building with tears in their eyes. They were just two months away from graduation, but now that dream is gone. Student loans, no job. No degree. No degree. Shock and anger. I quit my job last February to go to school full time. So I just, I have absolutely no idea. I had no plan B. That's how some students say they felt following an email they received Wednesday morning to let them know that Brightwood College was closing for good. I have dropped almost $26,000 into this program to get my certificate and I'm not getting my money back. The company that heads Brightwood Education Corporation of America informed them the school had lost its accreditation and that the funds to keep operating weren't available. My heart goes out to the students who um, now need to transfer to another school or choose another profession. Brightwood offers certificates for various programs, including a licensed vocational nursing certificate. It's an accelerated one year program at the school, but there are other options available for those looking to get into the nursing field. There's the registered nurse, and then after achieving your registered nurse, you can go on for advanced education. Catherine Sexton of the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing at UC Davis says it's best to get a registered nurse degree instead of the LVN certificate offered at vocational schools. It allows you the latitude to either practice as a nurse or go on to advanced practice. It's a path some Brightwood students say they wish they had taken. In the meantime, the hope is to transfer credits to other schools or start over. We're eight short weeks away, single digits, and now nothing we can do. We put in multiple calls to the company that runs this school. We also try to reach out to the dean of this location to talk about today's announcement, but so far we have yet to hear back from them. Yeah, it's just heartbreaking to hear their stories, right? Their lives turned upside down in a day. Mugo, thanks. Live in North Highlands tonight.